Huh? Doesn't sound like she's here yet. Oh! <sighs> At least she's getting some rest. Must be a rare treat for her. What to do, though? I'd almost feel bad about waking her. At 
the other hand, she might not want to be left sleeping like this either. Still, she seems really cozy napping there, so I don't want to just jar her awake or anything. Sorry, but if I don't wake you up, I could end up being here all night. I guess I'll just read a book or something while I'm waiting. You're awake. Huh? Mean? Oh, right. I came here after the conference was over. So this jacket is... Oh, no! I'm so sorry! I can't believe I fell asleep after asking you to come all the way here. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're doing me a favor here. I appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule for me. Aww. Why is it that you always seem to catch me at the weirdest moments? Still. Thanks. No problem. Glad to do what I can. It wasn't too hot, was it? No, of course not. It felt really nice and warm. But, but anyway, th that's not the point. Now, listen here, Reen. Huh? I, I mean, lending me your jacket was very sweet and gentlemanly of you, and I'm kind of happy you did. But it's not very gentlemanly to sit and stare at a girl when she's sleeping, you know. Uh, I'm sorry? I did try to wake you up once, but... You seemed so relaxed and peaceful that it would have been almost too cruel to go through with it. But I guess it was inconsiderate of me to just let you nap there. No, 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 no! I'm not annoyed with you. It's just kind of weird to randomly watch people sleep, you know? If it was someone else, they might have misunderstood. Oh, you mean the one you did with Angelica, Crow, and George? Do you have some record of it here? <laughs> Actually, I do. George was testing out some kind of orbital video camera that was being developed by the Ruhr Institute of Technology. And we've still got the recording here. An orbital video camera? Yeah, the technology is different from what they use for the orbital map. got pictures of it. <laughs> More than just pictures. Just watch. Amazing. I know, right? It plays back images and sound at the same time. So it's like a radio and a camera combined. The quality might be a bit rough, but it really feels like you're right there, doesn't it? <laughs> it's really something else. Wow. Isn't it cool? 
It's called Rock. It's making a splash in the music scene abroad. They use Orbal audio technology to amplify guitars for it. It's a pretty bold sound, huh? It definitely is. And, uh, speaking of bold, how about that outfit? Uh, I forgot about the outfit! D don't look at that, just focus on the performance! This is... Bravo! That was incredible! I wish I could have been there to see it in person! I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, so was that any help? Help? This is exactly what I was looking for. I'm not sure if we can put together something as flashy as this, but we do have Elliot, and he knows his music, so I think we might have a chance. I'm glad to hear it. Crow was the one who planned all of this out, so he's the one you should ask about how to put a program like this together. Angie did our choreography, and George got all the instruments together for us. I'm sure they'd help out if you asked. I think I just might. We have to get our preparations for the festival underway. Oh, I put a copy of the video onto this memory course for you, too. If you put this memory course into the Orbital projector here, you can watch the video anytime you want. Bring everyone from your class here and show it to them tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks for everything, Toa. I mean, I asked for help, but you really went above and beyond. I don't really know how to thank you. You're always looking out for me, Reen. It's the least I could do. Besides, I'm sure this idea will spark some... lively discussion within your class. It's not a done deal yet. But I'm really curious to see how things turn out. Me too.
see the looks on their faces when they see it. Though, I imagine Toa's outfit might raise more than a few questions, too. Oh, it's nine already? Abend time should be on soon. I'm Misty, and this is Radio Trista. It's 9 p.m. on the 19th of the 9th month. <laughs> if only I was dressed to the 9s to match. It feels like we're finally getting the break we deserve from a long string of uncomfortably humid nights. That's right, fall is finally here, and it's brought its cool night breezes and gentle chirping of insects with it. Along with that respite, Erebonians everywhere are turning to their true autumn passions, food, and sports. What do all of you out there look forward to when you realize fall's almost here? For me, it's definitely the food. The crops come into season, ready for the harvest. I can only imagine how much work it has to be for all those farmers. But I can't wait for my first roasted chestnuts of the season. It's just about time for those to start popping up too. Sure, I'll never turn down a Marin Glacé or a Mont Blanc, but roasted is the way chestnuts were meant to be. Ah, that soft, melt-in-your-mouth taste, that sweet fragrance, simply irresistible. Whoops, the director's over there giving me the stink eye. Someone hasn't eaten dinner yet, I'll bet. Anyway, fall is also known for being a season for the arts. One of the Empire's most popular cultural institutions is the opera, and no one does opera like Heimdall's famous opera house. But as far as music goes, I'm a sucker for the classics. I still sing along whenever I hear the whereabouts of light. I stare in disbelief as you fade away Like a dimming star beneath the coming day <laughs> Whoa there, almost felt like I was in my shower back home. Speaking of music, some fresh new genres have been gaining popularity lately, both at home and abroad. She really does have a pretty voice. Though I guess you kind of have to in order to be a big opera singer like that. I don't know if singing on the air like that is such a good idea if she's trying to keep her identity under wraps, though. You've got a practical exam coming up next week, then another field study over the weekend. Sounds like things are going to be even busier than usual. I'd better brace myself for an exhausting week.
take it you're all ready? You've been studying and training here half a year now. I think you might finally be able to do it. Now, show me you've got what it takes to pass with flying colors. Fight! Right. Come at me with everything you've got! This can't be happening. I'll handle this. Arcus, activate! It's my turn! Very well. Arcus, activate! My turn! Arcus, activate! Huh. Very well. Arcus, activate! Very well. Marcus, activate! My turn! I should thank you. My turn. Not bad. Time for the kid gloves to come off. I'm bringing the thunder now! Go! Leave it to me! Arcus, activate! Very well. Turn. Arcus, activate. Ha. Right. Uh, my turn. Arcus, activate. Ah! 
come a long way. That's that. Let's keep moving.
and tough? It's 820. So we're still waiting on Elliot and Crow then. <laughs> it looks like they nearly pulled an all nighter working on our festival performance. It sounds like they've got a general idea of what they want, as far as style goes. But they're both nitpicking the set list and all the little details of the performance itself. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited! I'm not worried about Elliot, but I can't say I've got an abundance of faith in Crow. Well, be that as it may, we just have to leave it to them for now. Still, I was surprised by what the instructor said last night. What do you think she's cooking up this time? I can only shudder to guess. Oh, before I forget! I want you all to stop by the Academy tomorrow morning before you head out. Both groups, meet me out on the field by 9 a.m. and don't be late. Well, Sarah randomly springing things on us is nothing new. But why delay our departure? It takes eight hours by train to reach Ordis as it is. You're right. If we're still in Trista at 9 a.m., it would be past sundown before we got there. The train ride to Ruwer is over five hours, too. Ideally, we'd all be on the first train out of Trista. How about it, Sharon? With the way you're just standing back there smiling, I'm guessing you know something. I hope you're looking forward to my unsurprise when we step off the train in Ruwer to see you already there. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I assure you, I'll only be seeing you off this time. She's totally going to be there ahead of us. That's about as sure a bet as you can make. Pretty certain she knows what's going on, too. She's one amazing maid. I feel like I have my own professional chef, too. Oh, sorry guys, I overslept. Yo, morning everyone. Morning. Looks like we have everyone now. <sighs> We have to meet the instructor at the field by 9, right? I don't know what she wants to see us about, but don't worry. We've still got some time left. Anyway, I think we should head out now. I'm sure most of us have some last-minute preparations to take care of. True. <laughs> have a safe trip, everyone!
get started. <laughs> this looks delicious. Well, that turned out well. Okay, let's give this a try. Well, how about that? Is that okay? Ooh, this looks pretty nice. Okay, it's ready. All right, let's get started. <laughs> this looks delicious. Well, that turned out well. All right, let's get started. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Oh, this actually looks good. Oh, not half bad.
Salutations, my beautiful friends. It's only been ten days since last we met, but I couldn't keep myself away. Prince Oliver. And Major Vander. <laughs> Your slack-jawed amazement says it all. It looks like this will be quite the crowd-pleaser during its grand unveiling in Heimdall. Wait, what grand unveiling? Man, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Be referring to it's been quite some time I see many familiar faces gathered here today and several I've yet to have the pleasure of meeting is that I know that voice the radiant blade master Father! So that's Laura's dad? Wait, who's the one now? And look, Tobol's with him too. <laughs> this isn't quite how I expected our grand reunion to go, that's for sure. What are you doing up there? And what's with the hat? I'll fill you in on the details another time. What in the name of Adios is that? Wow, what a pretty ship. This thing's a real piece of work. Incredible. I've heard about the specs, but the numbers don't do it justice. It looks even better alive than on paper. Principal Van Dyke, you too? Um, could someone fill us in on what exactly is going on here? <laughs> Your bafflement is quite understandable. The chairman of the board proposed a change to your travel arrangements for this month's field study. He's agreed to deliver all of you to your respective destinations aboard this airship. What? We'll be riding in style. <laughs> He's mainly taking it on its maiden voyage to unveil the ship to the nation. We're just kind of along for the ride. You'll be headed to the capital first, but from there, it'll be a straight shot to Ruhr. Wow. I'm not sure what to say. This is all so sudden. I think I need to sit down. Well, should we be off, Your Highness? Yes, that sounds marvelous. With that, let me be the first to welcome you, Class 7. Aboard the second Arcel Class High Speed Cruiser, the Courageous!
mother told me all about it, but there's no substitute for seeing it soar through the skies. Simply beautiful. Yes, it really is. <laughs> You're up there, aren't you, Ray? Wow! That's the courageous! Oliver finally finished his airship. <laughs> it's a fine ship, isn't it? Prince Oliver seems to have gone to quite a lot of trouble having it built. <laughs> Is this the wind of change you intend to release across our state and troubled land? Go, my son, and show me the caliber of man. It's been almost two years already. And look at how far our debaucherous prince has managed to come. Partnering with Liberal to make a second Arcel class airship, then cruising over the capital? I suppose that's one way to stick it to you for outmaneuvering him at the trade conference. <laughs> Let him have his fun. Still, this was certainly an unexpected play on his part. He and that band of students he likes to ship across the country have proven a never-ending source of entertainment. But now, my dear Prince Oliver, we have reached a decisive point. The board has been prepared every piece in its place. Turn the tides in your favor? I look forward to finding out. It's currently 10.02, and we have a north-northwesterly wind blowing in at a speed of 11 arch. We've just passed through the Schwarzdrake Barrier's airspace into the province of Nortia. Current speed is 3,050 SPH. We've reached full cruising velocity. Maintain current course and speed. Follow the Nortia main line, maintaining a distance of 200 arch. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> 